Hi, I'm Nick Ryan, Acting Assistant Principal here at Mervyn North Secondary College. Well, we've all started remote learning during this period of COVID-19 isolation. And once again, the message that we are being given here at the school is that if you can learn from home, you must learn from home so that we can reduce the spread of this virus. Well, with uh, remote learning going, we know that a few people have had some um, issues. There's going to be teething issues, issues with internet at home, with internet at school. And uh, certainly yesterday we had some in, um, problems with some of the areas um, in some of the applications that we use, things like Compass and WebEx, and that's going to happen from time to time. The thing to take away from all of this is don't stress about it. The time constraints aren't the same as what we're used to doing. We can be more flexible with our time. So if you can't get some work done when you need to because the system's down or because somebody else is using the computer, we've got the flexibility when we're doing remote learning to change our time and do it a little bit earlier or a little bit later. So this video is going to show parents how they can use Compass so that they can monitor the learning programs that their students are using. When you log into Compass, on the left hand side over here, you'll see the details about your student or if you have more than one student enrolled in the school, they'll be stacked one on top of the other. By clicking on the profile link, you can see all of the details about the classes your students take. So on the left hand side here, we have all of today's lessons, or if you wanna see the entire week's worth of lessons, you can click on the schedule tab and that will show you all of the lessons for this week and then if we wanted to move into the following week you can use the arrows up here and that will show you all of the lessons scheduled for that entire week. If you want to find details about a specific class so we can go and have a look at this class here in the schedule click on that and that will take you into the individual class. So when that loads up, it will have a lesson plan for the learning that's to occur during that individual lesson. Now we know that not all students are able to learn during that uh, assigned lesson time. Um, parents are working from home, students are sharing computers, internet sometimes is up or down. And so for that reason, we've also got an overall weekly work plan. So if we go and look in the resources tab, we can see we've got a work plan for this week, a work plan for the next week. If we go and have a look at that, what we can see here is, is that there is a work plan here that's downloadable that you or the student could download. In this case, the teacher's also chosen to make a web page that lists, here's the work for the first lesson, here's the work for the second lesson, the learning intentions and how the student will know if they've been successful at that learning, the pre-reading they need to do and any actual work that needs to be done. So this is all lined up for the entire week so you can go through and track what work should be done for that week. Now in this case, the teacher has also loaded up, as we can see on the left hand side here, or if I click on the folder, we can see listed some additional resources. These are notes in this case that the student might use as additional assistance to complete their work. In addition to the resources tab, the other really important tab for the lessons is learning tasks. So in this case, this student has a, um, an assessment task coming up and there's also a task here that each student um, should have set up by their teachers for a remote learning communication. When we click on that and I click on the feedback um, tab, we can see any ongoing communication that's already occurred between the teacher and the student and additionally the parent could type in any uh, questions, queries, that the uh, family might have to support their learning.
if the family wishes to contact the teacher directly by going back and clicking on the dashboard tab, there is an email teacher link here. And by clicking on that, that sends a direct email to the teacher so that they can ask more detailed comments um, or questions within that email. And then they would fill that in or send it. In this case, I don't need to send that. I hope you found that to be useful. If you have any other questions about the remote learning program for your students or any support that you might need, don't forget that you can contact the school on principal at mnsc.vic.edu.au to get some information or questions to the principal team, or you can email directly the teacher of the individual class using the email teacher link here in Compass.